What's going on YouTube and today I want to talk to you guys about microtransactions in Black Ops 3. Now this isn't anything that's confirmed, this is all speculations and I kind of just want to talk to you guys about it and see what you guys have to say in the comment section if you think it's going to be a thing in Black Ops 3 or if we're going to go just you know straight buying camos and everything like that for microtransactions. So basically what I'm trying to say when I say microtransactions is what we saw in Advanced Warfare, which was the Advanced Supply Drops. So, I personally don't think that they're going to bring something like that to Black Ops 3. Um, but I think that they are going to push for a lot of microtransactions. So, if you look at, like, from Modern Warfare 2 all the way up until just now, or even if you want to go all the way back to the original Call of Duties, microtransactions over the last, like, three or four years have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think that's just kind of how the economy online is going and how a lot of companies are starting to go. It's, you see more and more free-to-play games that have, like, shit tons of microtransactions while you've had games like MapleStory that's been doing that for the last 12 years. So, it's a huge, huge thing that most companies have actually gone to because they realize they can make a shit ton of money off of it. You're not making $50 at a time, but you're making $5 here, $3 here, $10 here, $20 here. And it all kind of adds up and you get a shit ton more profit than you would have initially got from just charging $50 for a game. So I think in Black Ops 3, we're going to see the return of camos. I think that's something on like the gun camos and things like that that are pretty much we're going to see in every single Call of Duty from now on because they had such hype um, behind some of the really, really awesome looking ones. So that's something that I think that we're obviously going to see in Black Ops 3. But I, I wonder what else they're going to do to make money. I mean, they make money on DLCs. They make money on the camos. Are we going to see voiceovers again like how we saw in Call of Duty Ghosts? I mean, Snoop Dogg as the announcer was actually kind of cool, not going to lie. So... I wonder if we're going to see something like that, if we're going to see different, like, maybe emblems or something that you get if you buy, which we kind of saw that with the gun camos. They came in, like, packages. But I'm really curious to see what happens. Do you think maybe we'll see a specialist, maybe, that you can only buy, or would that be too OP? So, that's one of the main things that they kind of have to worry about, is if you have something implemented into the game that you can buy that is a game changer and becomes overpowered then it makes it like pay to win and something like call of duty has never been like a pay to win type thing even with like the dlc guns that come with like the peacekeeper was the first one and the peacekeeper was a good gun but all in all like i wouldn't have chose it over like a msbs or something like that so i wonder how this is all going to play out do you do you think something like this will ever make it to black ops 3 i i see the trend in microtransactions and i'm I'm really curious and I'm actually kind of afraid to see what Treyarch does with this. So, leave it down in the comment sections below. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think. If you have any uh, information, maybe it's been leaked and I haven't seen, make sure to link it down below or hit me up on Twitter. So, if you guys like the video, if you're interested in seeing if they're going to have any microtransactions or anything like that, leave a like rating. And as always, YouTube, I will see you soon.